Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me Lavina and thank you so much for being here. In today's video, I will be creating this makeup look by Jangli Koo. I saw this picture on Instagram and completely fell in love with it. I totally love this no, na no makeup, makeup sort of a look. It's like very natural and I'm seeing a lot of people or like actresses or uh, TV personalities sporting this look and it looks absolutely gorgeous. I am sure a lot of you people out there want to know how you can get this look and at the same time I just wanted to have fun and recreate this particular look of Jagmi Kapoor so it's like two purposes in one video so if you want to know how I create this look and some tips and tricks for a no makeup makeup look then keep on watching so here I have this look which I absolutely love it almost looks like she's having no makeup on whatsoever so for my foundation I have this very weird combo going on but lately I've been trying it and it works amazingly for me so I'm going to use my fat liquid foundation and mix it with my makeup revolution concealer in the shade C9 now I'm usually a shade a shade uh, this foundation is slightly dark for me and this concealer is slightly light for me so what I like to do is mix them both and it gives me the perfect uh, texture, it has perfect color and also the concealer makes the foundation all the more full coverage. So this is a great combo. For priming my skin, I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime. I really love this product. And then I like to start blending it using my beauty sponge. Now that my foundation is done, I'm going to move on to concealing. And for that, I'm going to use this Miss Claire Full Coverage Makeup. It comes in a pot. This is the makeup jar. You see how this is slightly lighter than my skin, so it will add a lot of um, illumination uh, down my under eyes I can see that there is very subtle bit of bronzing on the perimeter of the face nothing too harsh it's like the sun is hitting her face at the right angle so this is the kind of bronzing that I want to do so I won't be going over the top or something so for that subtle bronzing I'm going to use this pack compact in the shade 03 as you can see this is like slightly darker than my actual skin tone so it's going to be perfect if I'm trying to just add a little bit more warmth to the perimeters of my face and not really like add bronzing as such I will also be adding a bit of this dark colored compact on my nose to kind of balance it out I mean the nose looks pretty much flat right now because for the concealer and foundation we put on so just going to slightly use it to uh, kind of contour the nose but at the same time not make it too harsh and give it a more natural look going in with the more fluffy brush and blending that nose contour in now that everything looks very seamless and blended in I'm gonna contour my cheekbones ever so slightly so for that I'm gonna use the school tone powder from the wet and wild mega glow contouring palette powder she had this very bright and vibrant blush. I will be using the Nika Get Cheeky Blush Duo in the shade Brazilian Bombshell. So there's this very pinky pinky blush which I'm going to go for, taking it on my pack 302. I'm going to make sure I blend my blush with the contour and the bronze so that it looks very natural and not just stamped on. So just going to blend it with the entire uh, you know cheekbone area where I put my bronzer and contouring powder also a great tip for a no makeup makeup look is to work with powders as compared to creams because creams if used you definitely need to use powders on top of, uh, top of it so that is like a lot of layer and you know it kind of takes away from the whole natural finished look of it it will look a bit uh, you know layered up and cakey so if you are trying to achieve that natural look 
try to work with a lot of powders and work in very tiny tiny small thin layers and keep building until you know you have the intensity it's the major key like rule to get to follow if you're going for a natural no makeup makeup Okay, so now that the blush is rocking and shocking, it's time to move out to the brows, move out to the brows. I don't know, sometimes my tongue just has a root of its own. So we're now going to move on to the eyebrows. Uh, let me quickly have a look at what has she done with her brows. Um, okay, they are not that filled in, but more so she has just combed them through. She hasn't done much to her brows. They don't even look filled in properly. You can see still see sparse areas and you know brow hairs here and there. So even the brows are like pretty pretty natural and you know comb through. So that's what I will be doing as well. Which is a very rare thing on my channel. I usually like to do my eyebrows pretty pretty bold. But for this look's sake I am just going to comb them just fully. Not my favorite thing in the world, but I'm still gonna do it for the look. Just combing them through, and that's all. <laughs> well, for the eyes, she definitely has this very light. Subtle warm tone brown eye shadow all over the lid, and she has also taken it, uh, you know, on her lower lash line. And she then only has the mascara on, so that's what we are going to do today as well. I think this is going to be too light, and like this is going to be too dark. So I think I'm just going to start with the lightest color, and then see if it shows up on my skin tone. If not, then I'll move on to the darker one. So for now, I'm just going to start off, um, you know, with this color right here. This is called Faint. Oh no, wait. This is called Silk Cream. So I'm just going to start off with this color right here, which is called Silk Cream. It is from the Jacqueline Hill palette by Morphe. And I'm just going to put it all over my eyelids and just blend it through the crease. Um, I mean it's definitely adding a little bit of color on the eyelids but I don't think it's doing much I will definitely have to move on to a darker color than this so I think I will be uh, you know using this color called Puki which is this brownie mustardy color which is very like a warm tone brown and let's see if this shows up. Okay, well, yeah, this is the exact color. So, this works for me. So, I've just put it all over my lid and just blend it across the crease. The upper eyelids are now done. I'm going to take that same color on my lower lash line. The eyeshadow is now done. I'm going to quickly curl my lashes using my back eyelash curler and add some mascara. For that, I'm going to use the Maybelline Glow Big Local. <laughs> For that, I'm going to use the Maybelline New York's The Colossal Big Shot. Volume Express is the shade black. The mascara is now done and the eyes are complete. The last step, oh not the last step, it's the second last step. Uh, I have to add some shine and glow to my face, especially in this area because she seems to have a lot of glow going on on her cheeks. Okay. 
she seems to have a lot of glow on her cheeks and also um, you know over here like I mean uh, with the arch of the eyebrows is that's where she has a lot of glow and on her nose and you know on the cheekbones so I am going to add that glow on my face for that glow today I will be using this uh, matte eyeshadow in the shade retrospect luster it's a great great metallic eyeshadow and um, I want to go very very light handed with the, the highlighter so for that I'm going to use the pan brush uh, usually this is my highlighter brush this is Beth and White uh, F75 this is what I use to highlight every day but uh, because I want it to be very light and subtle so I'm going to use this pan brush this is Vega pan brush Now quickly taking my beauty sponge, I'm going to mesh all the highlighter in so it doesn't look too much. I think we need a bit more blush because she's having a lot and right now my blush is looking a little bit eh in front of hers. So I'm going to dip back once again into this Nykaa blush and I'm going to go ham with it. The last and the final step are the lips. She has gorgeous, gorgeous lips. I mean, they are so full and they are so well defined. I'm not too sure if my lips are gonna look like this, but if I look very close, I can see that she has a lot of color intensity on the center of her lips, and as it comes out, it's a bit fading. So it's it looks more like a lip tint. This is also the way Koreans or uh, you know um, like Chinese or Japanese women like to do their lips like they like to go for a more natural effect on their lips so it's more like a tint which is applied more towards the center of your lip and as you come towards the end it's like blended out. I'm gonna use this L'Oreal Paris lip gloss, uh, mega gloss in the shade 104. It is very pink and you know it's very corally uh, and natural and this gloss has a great texture The makeup is now all complete. I will just quickly set it using my MAC Prep and Prime. This will ensure that all the makeup is soaked in, it settled down, everything is blended and more skin like. So, setting a makeup uh, look to get that uh, no makeup filter, uh, it's very important to use the setting spray towards the end of it. So, this guys is the finished look. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel and press the bell notification so you get notified every time there's a new upload. Well, if there is any feedback that you all want to give me, please put it down in the comment section below. Or if you would like to see certain videos or me recreate certain looks, then let me know that also in the comment section below. I will see you guys next time. Bye!